Wait. Where? Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Buka Island? <laughs> oh no. That volcano looks ready to explode. I. What? Wait. We gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Ah, the view. <laughs> Uh, out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, here we are at Buka Island. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to this new part. I decided I'm gonna do that as a cliffhanger at the end of the last one. Oh boy! <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, ah! That was really cool with the ghost ship section. I just really liked it. But either way, we got Durham back. And actually, guys, I'm gonna be right back so that I don't have a super large video file because, once again, as I mentioned, uh, my editor hates it. So give me one second. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm back now. I got it all recording separately, and let's do this. So yeah, here is Buka Island. Oh my gosh, I love this section of the game. In general, this whole mid part is just great. Oh. What's that? I know who that is! <laughs> Did you see that I can't wait. Creature? Now yeah. I'm curious. I know what it was. Regardless, we must <laughs> find a way out this island quickly. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. I'm so excited to actually see that in a little bit. But yeah, um, in general, oh my god, I just love this whole section of the game. Going from the ghost ship over to the island and everything. Just <laughs> out of the frying pan into the fire. Like, for me, what I really like about Mana is like the combat and everything. And Trials has always been like the most action-packed one for me. And it's just kind of like a fun ride. Like, even though, like, yeah, uh... You have to replay the game a bunch to like experience the whole story, which is actually something I like about it a lot, but even putting that aside, um, part of what makes it so fun is just the fact that the game is just incredibly well paced. Like you could just play it over and over again, and honestly it just doesn't get old, at least for me anyway. Um, so I just, oh god, yeah this one section is just fun. I really like the ghost ship a lot actually, I think that one is just a fun little set piece, it's not a very long level. You know, unless you spend forever looking for a treasure chest like me, um, I feel like that's kind of a double-edged sword about these collectibles. <laughs> but, oh man. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack this hobgoblin. Alright. Oh, it's the Tomato Men! <laughs> My friend Ash hated the Tomato Men. I honestly couldn't really tell you why, he just kind of did. Um, it was just really funny. I don't even know. Um, now I will say this, oh, oh they got like little beaks and stuff, I like this interpretation. It looked a little odd uh, in a bunch of older mana games, so I really like this. Okay, so let's see, um, so there are four treasure boxes here on this island, so I probably want to keep a lookout for them. Um, is this really all that's over here on this side? I feel there has to be something else, right? Uh, no? Okay, hmm. This music is so good, okay. So, uh, fun fact about me in the past and me being a nerd for this game. So I played this game around the time I was in uh, middle school, uh, entering high school a little bit for the most part. Um, so anyway, I really love the music in this game and, the, and this area in general just had like really catchy music. Like the drums and everything, like oh man, I, I just love it. Um, but anyway, I just had it stuck in my head, so like, I was... <laughs> Kind of annoying all of my classmates a little bit one day because I was just kind of like subconsciously just kind of like drumming my fingers on the table and stuff. And they're like, what the heck are you doing, bro? And I, it was like in my head I was listening to this and stuff. Uh, so that's just like a fun little thing that happened. Um, you wouldn't catch me doing that, you know, nowadays, obviously, because that's freaking obnoxious for people. But hey, you know, that was fun back then. Um, gosh, I just love this game. And, and this remake is just <laughs> the combat is really good. Uh, the specials are like super flashy, just like the original. I did not mean to use that. I confuse these like hotkeys all the goddamn time. It's it, it is honestly becoming a really big problem. Um, so I <laughs> I apologize if I use like a candy or something on accident. And also again that last part. Oh my god, I can't believe it took me that long to figure out how to uh, reassign all of that. Also. Um, I have a bunch of training points to use now, um, so we're gonna go ahead and level up uh, this some more. Hey, there we go, now we have Stone Saber and Lightning Saber. Yes! Okay. That's gonna be really helpful. Um, so now, over here though, 
Uh, we're going to keep leveling this up so we can unlock uh, Chest Knight and then Machine Golem eventually. So that's going to be good. Okay. And then for you, uh, let's level that up one time for that so you can learn Fireball. And let's see. Uh, let's also try and get Ice Smash and Evil Gate. Well, Evil Gate mostly because that's the one that we're actually able to use in a little bit. So, oh boy, I got to level this up a lot. Uh, okay. Well, hey. We'll, we'll get there. Um. Gosh. Yeah, Angela just has so much that she can learn, but, man, I don't know how I feel about the requirements being so spread out. Because in the original, you learn magic pretty freaking fast. But I can see a gap now, now that I have to focus on other stats for a bit. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay. Oh, I should switch over to Angela and try it out. Hold up. Uh, well, as soon as we get to another fight. Okay. Um. Oh, we don't have fire yet. Duh. Well, okay. Well, we'll figure this out. Um. Hello, Silk Tails. Okay, let's use. Yes, yeah, Cyclone. Boom. Okay. What about this? Alright, well, it's not really weak to either of those. I think these guys are just kind of neutral. I mean, they're freaking Rabbites. Uh, Rabbites in general, they're kind of like the Mana series Goombas, so... <laughs> uh, they're usually pretty easy to take down, don't really have any particular weaknesses, to my knowledge. Thank you, Charlotte. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me... Oh yeah, okay, so we can do Stone Saber. Hold up, I want to see that. Okay, oh, it actually glows a certain color. Okay, I like that. Alright. That's cool. Out of the fire, but it's still stuck on the island. We just have to wash up on this island. <laughs> We just had to wash up on this island. Yeah, I know. I just love <laughs> uh, this entire section. Although, what I find kind of odd in, in the original game, logically speaking. I mean, it's not like they really have anywhere to go. I mean, okay. This is kind of what's odd about this, because they don't really have a way off the island, like, you know, via boat or anything. And I mean, I know it's coming, but we're essentially heading into the volcano when... Logic dictates we probably want to run away from the volcano, but hey, I mean, whatever. <laughs> oh man, um, let's go ahead and use this spin slash. Yeah, these guys are resistant to earth element, as it were, so I don't think my saber attacks are going to be very effective at this point in the game. Um, I wish we had other abilities to work with, but I guess this will do. Okay. Hey, there we go. So let's go ahead and level up a uh, new ability here. Um, how about we do that. Okay, just a couple more level ups and we should get Ice and Flame Saber. Of course, I don't have either of those either. <laughs> um, actually, I should have Lightning Saber. We could try that out. Yeah, hold up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can try that out the next fight. Um... Okay. Lightning Saber! Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah! I got his weakness! Take that, bro! <laughs> yeah! Now, I really don't know what the Tomato Man's weakness is. Uh, I guess we'll kind of find out. Well, I suppose they're like a weird shaman thing, right? So let's go ahead and actually, oh, actually I'm just fighting mushrooms now. Um, but the next time I fight one, I might actually try and use light magic on it. I think that might work out. Um, well, let me see. So we have three out of four treasure boxes. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and attack. Now, I think I'm probably screwed in terms of a uh, treasure chest for this. I don't know if there's an achievement for that, but I believe it. Uh, so maybe I'll worry about that um, the next time I have a run through the game. Um, that would be good. Uh, majority of it, I think, so far, so that's fine. Um, let's go for you. Oh, God. Alright. Uh, Charlotte, 
If you could please use your tinkle, uh, healing light plus, thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, this area is just a lot <laughs> of fighting for the most part. I mean, that's every single area. And also, this is like the slowest erupting volcano, freaking ever. Um, granted, actually, no, that might that might be actually kind of accurate because you probably feel like the rumblings, you know, a bit before it happens. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen at all yet. I really like the detail that it actually is shaking every once in a while here, just to remind you. This is so cool. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use that again. And I'm gonna shred this guy. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. <laughs> this is great. Um, oh yeah, okay, so Angela, let's go ahead and do this. Um, Holy Bolt on one of the Tomato Men. No effect. Okay. Well then, what about, uh, Diamond Shards? Okay, I really don't know what these guys are weak to. It's probably Fire or something, but we just don't have it yet. Um, we can try using that. Okay, no. It's pretty neutral to all of it, so I really have no idea. Mm. Well, I mean, hey, whatever works, I guess. Okay. Um, hmm. Ah, so that's plot over there. What's over here? Is that... Okay. I guess we'll have to head up there. Hmm. Oh, it's the cockatrices! Or the egatrices. Okay. Let's, uh, go ahead and do this. Hummel Star. Oh yeah, the other thing is you want to kill these things fast before they transform. Um, oh yeah, like that. Okay. That's fine. I can use uh, my diamond shards. Oh really? No effect? What about... okay. Let's try using that then. Oh okay, well they just take uh, no magic damage then. I mean, uh, I guess that works. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, you really want to be careful with these guys because they might be able to petrify you, but I might be thinking a different mana game. Um, just be careful, I guess. Okay, so that's there. Huh. Okay. And what the frick? Alright, well, I'll find that treasure chest somewhere. Um,. Regardless, alright, uh, we haven't actually seen most of the place yet, so there's only one left and it's probably closer to the uh, volcano itself. So we're gonna go over here for now. I love this. <laughs> Tomato Town! <laughs> love Tomato Men. I don't know, it's just such a weird enemy. But, uh, in this town, they're Their actually monsters. friendly. Is this their nest or something? Better strike <laughs> first before they attack. But wait! I don't think these monsters mean any harm. <laughs> they aren't attacking us. Maybe you should try talking to one. <laughs> okay. Hello. This is Tomato Town. Okay. <laughs> Though we are a peaceful tribe, our brethren outside the village can be quite dangerous. <laughs> yep, okay. Just a random peaceful tribe of tomato men. The eruption is imminent. If you wish to escape, you should do so now. We will remain here and let nature take its course. No, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh... Well, these monsters still don't act like there's a volcano nearby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, Angela. Are we finished with this island yet? I just want a town with a bed, that's all. Okay. A town centerpiece has similar properties to the mana statues you are familiar with. This, the world is a strange place. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. So the totem pole here will actually heal you and everything. Um, I don't know. Just tank it. <laughs> Alright. Well anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. The ruler of the seas resides in a cave to the west of this town. To even have a chance of leaving this island, you must ask for its aid. However, the entrance to the cavern at the top of the mountain has been caved in by a huge rock during an earthquake. Destruction may come before you can dig around it. Mmm, okay. Well, there we go. We now have our objective. Hello, sir. Welcome. What 
would you like? Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. A tiger two piece. Okay. I wonder if it's like the one that you got as like a pre-order bonus for the Secret of Mana remake. All right. So let's go ahead and go right here, and this guy is probably is this a regular old item shop? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hello, sir. Oh my gosh, I just want to talk to you. What is this, Final Fantasy 15? Just jumping when you're trying to talk to people. Um, yeah, let's get that steel sword, and then a ruby cane, and then, uh, oh, I gotta actually sell some bread. Okay, let's, uh, sell that. Boom. And then, let's sell the hauberk, bat coat, and the uniform dress. Okay. And then we'll buy the steel flail. Okay, perfect. And then we'll sell it. Or the Warhammer. Okay, perfect. Alright, so I think we're now good to go. So let's go ahead and move forward. Yep, that's all we really need to do here. <laughs> Alright, bye, Tomato Man. <laughs> uh, I like that. Guess this ruler of the seas is our only chance. We are off to seaside cabin. All right, I like that though. Okay, so now they actually have pretty much explained what I said. Like, I guess we're heading towards it so we can, you know, get the ruler of the seas to help us out. Makes sense. I like it. Okay. Now I think that was probably said in the original game, but yeah, I feel there's a lot of instances in this remake where it's like, yeah, that was in the original, but it's like, I don't know. I guess I can kind of forget about it because. Uh, the way the original was presented makes, like, the plot, uh, parts of it less memorable. So I I tend to forget, like, the little details. Like, I just kind of remember the general order of events of what we're doing, you know? Um, but okay, there we go. Cool. So now we need to progress forward. Alright, uh, Angela, where the frick are you? Angela, where the frick? Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. Um, let's use our diamond shards. Really? Okay. I thought all flying enemies were weak to that. I mean, I guess not. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Uh, what is over here? Does this have a treasure chest on? Alright, let's try and do that. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, no effect. Ah, oh, yeah, these guys are completely resistant to magic. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, let's use Pummel Star. Perfect. Okay. Well, hey. We're getting stuff done. Uh, gradually. Surely, but slowly. Slowly, but surely. Um, here we go. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I killed any of them, but that's fine. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So let's go ahead and keep moving. Why does it feel like Charlotte is faster than everyone else? I'm not really sure about that, but it, it seems that way? Maybe it's just because she's smaller and she manages to make, make the same ground as everyone else. It might be that. I don't know. Eh, whatever. I like it. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and take out the B Lancers. Okay. But yeah, I am still trying to find these treasure chests. Okay, like, this shaking is actually reminding me a little of Majora's Mask. If you guys have played it, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Well, that's a medical herb. Alright, well, that probably wasn't worth jumping down for, but, I mean, uh, okay. Let's see. Well, I guess we're gonna keep moving, but I want to keep looking around, too, just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Okay, so that's just a health thing. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Look, I probably shouldn't care as much as I am about the treasure chest. It's just kind of like, I see the number. I know the amount. It's So it's kind of like, uh, I want to get it. Okay, so now it's nighttime. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and take out these Agatrices. Alright, here we go. Spin Slash. Boom. Cross Cut. Oh my gosh. Am I hearing like cicadas in the game? That's cool. Uh, let's have you use healing light, please. Okay. Boom. 
Alright, the egg creases are down. Yeah, those things are, like, really tanky. They're even tanky in the original game. Uh, let's go ahead and attack the bee lancers here. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sweet. So yeah, uh, use your healing light, please. Okay. Man, I really wonder if it would have been possible for them to get co-op working now. Because I think that actually would be pretty fun. Oh, this combat is amazing. Like, for real. I, I love this combat so much. And it does make me wonder also. Um, so, like, Legend of Mana actually had a lot of really cool and creative uh, multiplayer ideas. Like, you had the ability to actually battle other players' uh, builds and everything. Which I thought that was freaking awesome. And he also got to also uh, trade items in a way with uh, other players, like you could sell them to this pawn shop and then you could kind of buy it back. Uh, I thought that was really freaking rad. Um, so I'm wondering if they're going to find some way to incorporate that stuff in the Legend of Mana remake, but it's very possible they just won't bother. I mean, a single player is the important part, but um, still. <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine, huh? <laughs> there was a cave entrance here, but the volcano done went and plugged it right up. Give me a sec, and I'll fix it for you. Well, oh, okay. I was expecting you to, like, blow it up or something, but I guess, whatever, that works too. Alright, guys, I am excited for what I'm about to hear. Because this is the song that I used in my freaking uh, review. It's just like Snare Drum City. It is freaking crazy. Uh, here we go. I want to hear this banger. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. This is so good. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Um, let's save right about here. Alright, this is gonna be like another really small area. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a good arrangement. This is ah, I need to just listen to this whole soundtrack. I'm gonna be listening to the soundtrack like the rest of my goddamn life, which is gonna be like about five minutes because I'm just gonna die of a heart attack. You know, it, it's all fine. Oh my gosh. I love it! <laughs> oh, that's the Tom Poles. Oh, this is another enemy type that's actually going to transform if you leave it around long enough, uh, if I remember correctly. So you kind of want to act fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Alright, here we go. Spin Slash. See, I also really like how in this version of the game they actually give you enough, like, meters that you can actually kind of stockpile it a little bit. So, like, you have enough for your Class 2 special plus a regular special. That's just really cool. I think that's awesome. Um, hey, it's the Potos! <laughs> now, these are the enemies you want to grind later in the original game. Yeah, because they give you, like, the class up seeds. Like, ooh, man. Oh, but not this early. They wouldn't even have that as a drop this early in the game. Okay. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> Guys, I, I, this is also gonna be the last part of record today. Um, 
But I'm just losing my goddamn mind right now. All right, like, like you guys have probably seen several parts straight now. I've just had the stupidest smile on my face as I've been playing this man. It's just so good. Oh my god. Alright, so there's also super summon? I guess I'll figure that out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 30% chance of causing sleep when using power attack. Recently increased by 5, so it's chest knight. Okay. Machine golem. Heck yeah. Um. I think we're probably good on that. But I actually want to use uh, Charlotte's new ability. Because now she has combat magic, kind of. Um, so let's go ahead and use a chest knight. Ah, uh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, you just did a double? Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Now this also means she's probably going to be burning through her MD a whole lot more. Actually, okay, if she does it on her own, like, oh my gosh, that's just gonna increase her combat potential as a party member. I'm all for it. Okay. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many seeds for this final, for like, the next inn I end up visiting. Okay. Um, let's put three points towards that. I really should have spent more points on intelligence. Uh, no. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and keep moving then. Every single level up for Angela going forward is going straight into intelligence. Alright, here we go. Spin Slash. This is so good. It definitely does feel also, by the way, like the quakes are getting more frequent as we've entered this place. Okay. Jeez. Let's go ahead and save right about here. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Okay. This is so good. Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, this part is actually going to get a little bit bulkier. Uh, it's going to branch off in a little few directions. Here's the treasure chest though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is so fun. Literally, I... I I can't recommend this game enough. I hope you guys are seeing how much fun I'm having, because I'm having a blast. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this game definitely is, like, an interesting translation of the original's pace. Oh, oh that's cool that I get to, like, actually walk in the water here. Ah, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I actually got knocked down. I get knocked down, and I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Boom! <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. Um, so is this just going to lead to progress, or is it going to actually give me something? Hold up. Uh, HP, I mean, uh, that's okay, I guess. Um, okay. It is also really cool seeing this area just, like, again, all of these areas. I've said, I'm look, I'm running out of, like, unique things to point out for the most part. Um, I just really, the way this looks, the way this plays. I... Like, okay, right now I'm probably playing this the most boring way possible because I'm using, like, all these, like, simple combos. But man, Angela over here is freaking great. All these spells to work with. And it's just really to the point. Um, let's also go ahead and use Cyclone. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, how about I try using that on the Tesla over there? Okay, well, it definitely is not weak to that. Well, that worked, though. Um, now, the other thing I think I've noticed is that some of these spells definitely cost more than others. But they also, I don't know, their effectiveness is going to vary depending on who you're fighting exactly. So, I guess that's also kind of a thing. And I also haven't had to actively heal as much ever since I unlocked Healing Light Plus. Charlotte's just kind of had us covered. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ah, so yeah, we're starting to get that a lot more. I am all in. <laughs> okay, double slash. Okay. Here we go, whack bam. And dash. Here we go. Who are these crits? Man, the damage you do when someone's staggered, good lord. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I just love this. Music's so good. Freaking drums back. <laughs> You know, honestly, in comparison, uh, Duran plays pretty boring. Uh, oh my gosh, I got eight. Okay, uh, let's use Diamond Shards. Alright, now this is gonna get fun. Yeah, these guys were a boss in Secret of Mana, which is kind of funny to me, considering the way they're used in this game. Um, to me, though, it just kind of means that's how much the combat has, like, improved, though, honestly. Like, in general with this game, a lot of the bosses were, like, you know, they were pretty decent size, but compared to the bosses in this game, oh, they were, like, small and nothing. Uh, again, like, I just feel like Trials of Mana is just Sacred of Mana, but better, bigger and better. And this is just, like, a really great way to display that. Jeez, this is so fun. Alright, let's go ahead and collect this. And, okay, how many... Alright, so I'm missing two treasure chests, clearly. Um, I'm hoping this isn't the end of the area. But it also wouldn't surprise me. Okay, I think it is. You know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> Or meeting this guy. You? I am Malokio. In accordance with the prophecy heralding his dark majesty's triumph, I am here to end your lives. It is foretold that you may disrupt his majesty's plans for this realm. Who is that voice? You coward. Just who is this dark majesty anyway? There's no need for you to know the minutia of our plan. After all. You know, this is hilariously fitting. You know what his voice reminds me of? <laughs> I hear a strange heart. This <laughs> is reminding me of that, and it it's so funny. <laughs> oh god. Oh cred. Wrong thing. Uh, anyway. You will not be here to attack. This active volcano will soon bury you all alive! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's erupting right on top of us! This is so stupid! Now what? What is the voice what acting in this game? There's my boy! My boy! Come here! <laughs> I love this reveal shot! Yeah! <laughs> the freaking <frickin'> goggles! Vuskov, <laughs> my boy! <laughs> oh, are you guys ready for some reggae music? Because I hope you're ready for some reggae music. Alright, this is gonna be great. Yeah! My boy Vuska! <laughs> As my friend Snivy likes to call him, uh, Clyde. Oh my gosh. I love it! Bye, Vuska! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, here we are back on the Golden Road. The ruler of the sea's acknowledgement has granted you a new ability. Okay. Viscov chain ability, base HP increased by 60. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, more abilities. It's nice. <laughs> They're still, like, just giving me a bunch of abilities to choose from, but I have, like, very little slots for it. Oh! Well, thank you, game. <laughs> Okay, so in the original, I had to actually walk back over to Maya and then take the cannon over here. Um, but I guess they just did it for me, so uh, thank you, game. That made things simpler. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hello. I'll never forgive Altina for their spineless attack on our kingdom. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you really should, so hey. 
Oh my gosh, I'm... Ah! Uh... <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so let's go ahead and keep moving. Oh my gosh, I just... Ah! <laughs> oh, God. I, I, okay. I, guys, I need to, like, get good commentary back. Because I've just been freaking fangasming this, like, waiting. whole playthrough. But I just love this. Like, again, Trials of Mon, one of my favorite games. And, and, I, <laughs> okay. Anyway, so just gotta go talk to the king, alright? Because we're gonna actually get something really nice, and it's gonna help us out, uh, allow us to get around quite a bit. Um, you'll find out. You have returned safely. That is fortunate. I see you have located four of the eight elementals. Light, earth, wind, and darkness. You have four left to find. You are halfway to your goal. The Waterstone is in Altena's territory. Its elemental, Undine, may be found to the south of Frostbite Fields in the Labyrinth of Ice. However, I have heard that Altena has already activated the Waterstone's energy. Please, take care. It looks really pretty. To the south of the Burning Sands is a treacherous place known as Fiery Gorge. The Firestone Creative and its keeper, Salamando, can be found there. Southeast of here is the sprawling Dusk Moon Forest, home of the Beast Men. I have heard the Moonstone lies within its borders, but I know nothing more. Beware the Beast Men's strength. So that's what the tower looks like. It would do <laughs> you well to change your class before. You say that like I did that a while ago, bro. Like, yeah, this is about the point where you would want to change your classes in the original the woods of Wanderer. Dryad, the stone's elemental, should be located nearby. However, you cannot reach that forest via a land route. South of the woods of Wanderer is Lamplu Woods. The elfin settlement of Dior and all its secrets lie within. If you ask the elves, they may have some advice for you. You appear to have received help from Wuska, ruler of the seas, to escape Uka Island. It's like he realized the line halfway Soon through, what? Because you were chosen by fairy. Here in Valsena, we have a flute that has the power to summon Vuskov. However, because the creature is not fond of humankind, we sealed it away. If Vuskov has accepted you, you can use the flute to summon the creature by playing it on any sandy beach in the world. Vuskov will come to you. Take it with you, with my blessing. That's an interesting explanation there I'm not sure if that explanation was in the original he just kind of as far as I remembered I think he just kind of gave us the flu um so okay I mean I guess sure he hates humans except for us but maybe it's because fairy he sensed fairy and wanted to help us out I guess I mean it's similar to po Kuro poker I almost said the pokiri you know because ninja cat uh, but okay. Anyway, now that we have that flute, it's gonna be great. Exploration is about to open up a lot. That's why he gave us that briefing just now, because we're gonna get a lot of options. It's gonna be great. Okay. So let's go on and head back to Maya because I I I want to I want to see this. <laughs> I want to see how this looks. Oh man. <laughs> All right, well here we are. We're back. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, I, I, I just. 
<laughs> Look guys, anytime I'm gonna have a moment like this, you might have already seen it in this part, but I'm just gonna have like Genma.exe has stopped working. Cause like my brain, it's like starting to malfunction a little bit. Some of it is I've been like recording. This is like my fourth or fifth part that I've recorded today, which is honestly pretty excessive for like my RPG playthroughs. So um, this is definitely the last part I record today. Um, but I definitely want to see this before I end the part. Oh my gosh. Alright, so yeah, you guys just kind of say the same thing for every single town. Uh, okay, well that's fine. Well, at least they have like a set phrase for every town is what I mean to say. So, here's what I, I'm going to say right now. Um, <laughs> my brain malfunctioning. Remember that part, okay? Get my EXE. Stop working, alright? We're now going up to 25%. Um, <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so, if you guys have noticed beaches around the world, just random beaches. It's probably a little more noticeable when you're playing the original game because they're kind of like a self-isolated screen as opposed to just like a random part of the level design. Um, but if you notice beaches, that's actually kind of important because this is where uh, Vuskov comes in. We're actually going to be able to ride uh, Vuskov all around and it's going to be freaking great. Yeah! Alright, so let's go ahead, go to our items, and let's see, key items... Uh, let's put it, maybe, hmm, let's replace the Mushboom Eye. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I want to hear myself play it. Let's do it. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> there he is! There's my boy! Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to see this. Come on. Game. Give it to me. I need to see this. Okay. Yeah! Oh, this control's so good! Guys! He moves so fast! Holy crud! Like, Vuskov! Dude, have you had, like, a bunch of caffeine? Can you give me some of that? I need some of that! Oh my gosh. Oh, this must be the... You see the dragon head? Yeah, so that's the glass desert. Alright guys, I'm gonna give you guys a world tour since I am able to swim so goddamn fast. Heck yes. Hold up. I'm gonna let everything loop around for a bit. Ah, <laughs> I'm so goddamn happy. Okay, anyway. So there's the Forest of Darkness uh, as well as a mountain. Well, I don't think that's the actual name, but that's how I associate it. Uh, so that's the Forest of Darkness. Um, that's an uh, important area for later. There's the Lamp Plume Woods over in this general part of the world map. Uh, there you go, right there. Uh, over here, as soon as we can find a natural dip here. Um, well, actually, maybe it's already over here. Hold up. It might be the way that's like south over here. Because this will actually lead us over by the uh, Ferulian territory. So there you go. Uh, the Moonlight Town. Okay. And way over here. Hold up. I'm going to keep exploring a bit. But I think what's also tripping me up, right? This ain't flat no more. Like, I can tell the landmarks and everything, and it's actually in 3D. Holy crud. Uh, so yeah, of course, here is where uh, Rolante was. Or, Laurent, not Rolante. <laughs> Old translations. Uh, oh yeah, so there's the fire area that was mentioned before. Um, way over here is the desert, and there's actually going to be a beach right here as well. So the desert capital is Sirton, and from there you'll be able to go towards the Navarro Kingdom and all of that. So oh, there's also a bunch of isolated islands over here. You know, honestly, I forget if this is actually even anything that we can actually explore. But hey, well there you go. But either way, I think I'm going to be calling the park, guys. Well, actually, hold on, let's head over here. Is this the... Oh, I want to make sure with this. Yeah, okay. So this is the Peta territory, which is a little more relevant in uh, Heroes of Mala in particular. But um, yeah, this is another location that we will not be able to go to until much later in the game. But uh, remember it. And yeah. Alright. And there's, of course, Buka Island, which we just came from a little bit ago. I don't think we can actually go back at all, but there you go. And yeah. Oh my gosh. He controls so good. Ah! Anyway. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this part of Trials of Mana. Um, next time, we're going to be going to one of these major locations. Uh, I'll let you know which one next time. Uh, you guys can have your guesses down below. 
Um, I love this game. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Anyway, I oh, thank you guys so much for tuning in this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. And then, uh, oh yeah, Blue Vile. Yep, that's a weird name for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Take care before I ramble any longer. Um, see you guys next part. Mm, bye!